by a mob. A life lesson. Wow. Oh, I love work. I was so incredibly happy. They actually, um... They actually made Cassandra into a character in the next game. I just... That's so cool. And Varric is, uh... It's probably... He's one of my favorite characters. I mean, how could he not be? Just very sad that he's only into into the dwarven ladies. All right, what else? What wow. do we have here? And that back there. I really yeah. we don't have to worry about the books right now. We'll do the books at a later time. Wow. Uh. Yeah. Hey, what's up? People are saying that the ship needs to be summoned off Hook Coast. I sure am. I always need a swordsman. You look like somebody need a. Yep. Great, I could use lead the way. Right, what about you? Hi. Vary from place to place, you know. Ready to help the tavern? Marvelous, isn't it? Oh. Oh, I guess I can't trade anymore. That makes sense. Alright, and then in here. Yeah. Here you are. We think we can do a special offer for what do you have? What, what, what do I have to sell to you? Oh, big boots. Right, buying. I think my favorite character from the entire franchise. Um, well, Alistair does share my name. So, except King Alistair of Redborn, Redcliffe. King Alistair Redcliffe. That's my entire legal name. I'm I'm definitely not lying right now. Leather gauntlets. Oh, leather gauntlets go to. I have no idea. Well, I don't know. Uh, man, we shouldn't even get the bright leather chest stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find anything we want here. No. No, we're good. Assassin boots! Need some assassin boots. Alright, we're good. Word is, there's a ghost ship that's gonna be cold. I'll show you Lead a ghost away. ship that's gonna be cold. Wait. Hey! Right with you! Yeah! Um favorite character. I I did really like Vivian from DA3. Here you are. Hero brave, you still must pay. Eh, hmm. yeah, I wanna. Fun? I don't want your <laughs> stuff. Lead the way. I like Vivian. I like Morgan. <laughs> what can I do for you? I wonder if you would have I'm what I need. To serve you. Of twelve fifty seven. I'm seeing if this still works. Twelve, twelve fifty seven. Oh. Twelve fifty. Oh, yeah, still does. Yeah. Like those guys. Um, what's her face? Uh, the the guard, the head guard from DA two. She was amazing. There's some Sten. Sten was awesome. From first one. Man, there are a lot of There are just so many wonderful wonderful characters over the years. Also and this is going to be very this is going to be very opinionated. Um, oh, wrong way. Oh. 
Oh no, no. I do have them. I do have them. There's been a lot of comparison between uh, GA3 and The Witcher. You know, generally saying that The Witcher would win in a fight. But uh, a lot of the people who. A lot of the people I know who like The Witcher a great deal and more than other fantasy games are kind of dramatic people. <laughs> like, uh. It's because they, they personally relate to. What's his face? Damn it, what's the name of the Witcher? Uh, oh, it just slipped my mind. Oh, it just slipped right out of my mind. Anyhow, they relate to the... They relate to the protagonist. And... I mean, although I think that... That's fine. It's fine to have connections to the characters you play. Uh, they just all tend to have personality traits that I find to be... Flamboyant. In a person. And not flamboyant in a particularly good way. But that's only the people I know in real life. Uh, no generalization of everyone that that rel relates to the Witcher, the Hunter. I just find that funny. It's like five or six people in real life who kind of all share personality traits in that sense. Oh, is that the right way? Yeah. All right. We're done here. That's fine to do a bit of that. that old tale of the oh god. Coast ship. I've heard it's going to appear again. I didn't even look. Oh no. Doesn't have clothing. You remember that old tale of the Hook Coast ship? I've heard it's going to appear again. Okay, so Grey House. Where is the Grey House? Where was the Grey House? My god. Uh was it Witchwood? Was it not whole? Uh, we have to look at the map. Cause I, man, I don't remember. Um, abandoned road. Out. Tell me if you see it. We're looking for Lady Grey's old place. Damn it. Uh, over here? By Lunchfield Graveyard? It might have been. It was either in the Lynchfield or the Witchwood. Let's see, is it? Oh, no, we have it here. And that is... where are you? You are next to Barrow Fields. Oh, alright. Okay, so, before we do that, like I said, I completely forgot to marry the woman of my dreams. One of them. Uh, but she should still be in Oakvale, I think. Aveline Valen, yes. Um, in DA3, I love to vary stories about Aveline. She's just, she was such an awesome character. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Yes. I, uh, I personally connected to Aveline. Oh god. Maybe she went back. Uh. Okay, I have the feeling she probably went back to being a barmaid. Damn. Fiddlesticks. I totally forgot to. This does. This probably does mean we can do the sexings. I, <laughs> I'm sorry I referred to it that way. That makes you feel weird. Alright. Uh. Alright. Well, got that. Oh! Alright. Well, she's not here. So let's go over to... Man, we lost our chance! Let's go to Barfields. One of your friends to DA3 by the name of MMORPG, and it did have so many fetch quests. 
Um, which I do understand, you know, I think we all understand the reason behind that. Uh, it was resource building. The entire idea was that you were, you were leading an army. Now mind you, I don't think the customization system was... It was nothing. Oh my god. Was incorporated, um, as well as I would have liked to see it. Like, how... How many of those quests did you actually need to do? You have yourself a nice day. To get a, a better oh my God, to get a better result at the oh end of the story. The answer is very few. And that was kind of annoying. Uh, I do wish they had spent they had released it at a later date and spent more time developing it. Which way is this? So you're the one okay. liberate you, eh? Oh yeah! You'd be much taller. I forgot your- Ah, oh, hey! Hey, I'm plenty tall enough. Don't make fun of me. Uh, have I not talked to you? Oh man. And he is right, The Witcher 3... Getting up in the mornings? Um... It was very vibrant. I it don't was... know why I bought my poor, sweet Amanda. How could illness take you from? Uh. Uh. I don't right know with you. I bother getting up in the morning. It did ha I did prefer its random encounters uh, in The Witcher Three. Who is this? Which one are you? Dark wood beer? Right. Following! It must be the other way. I'm pretty sure it's the other way. But I, you know, the other thing is I do play RPGs. Uh, to see the, the story built between the characters. The characters that it focuses on. And that just... Witcher 3 just didn't appeal to me in that sense. And again, I, I really don't like the protagonist. Also, in terms of relationship and not just wanting to fuck imaginary imaginary uh, characters, the year three was better. And I'm so glad they finally got rid of the relationship bar in it. Single men. Oh, okay. Okay. I do understand your friend's point of view. If you like, if you like to adventure more so than the, uh... Yeah. What was up here? I, I was wrong. It's not up here. Um, if you like adventure more so than the, uh, the story, then Witcher 3 is better for that. Now, clearly the best game ever for story is this game. Clearly. <laughs> okay, so, man. I guess we need to go to the graveyard. Yeah, we do need to go to the graveyard. Okay. So. So, okay. Graveyard, where are you? Uh, is it is it near Barrowstone? Uh, is it here? You think he just uh, choked on completing every every dot in the first free room? Well, I could see that. But I could also see that sort of introduction to a a game's resource resource gathering system. 